Every year, the city of Paris receives more than 82 million visitors and tourists that travel to France in an effort to capture that perfect romantic getaway they always desire to experience. Seen as a city of love, Paris is a hotspot for newlyweds, lasting couples, those looking to find someone in their lives, and even those that wish to travel alone and experience the city. However, Paris is more than just a city of love. It holds a darker past and a more terrifying nature. Underneath the city of love are long tunnels known as the catacombs of Paris, and if you're looking to travel there someday, then it's important for you to understand this darker past. Interestingly, a photograph was just shared to social media, detailing that a man had travelled down to the catacombs and had taken a picture of one of the tunnels. However, upon viewing the image, the man saw what appeared to be a humanoid figure. If anywhere was going to be haunted, then it would be the catacombs of Paris, which is said to hold over six million skeletons. Those who saw the photograph said they could make out a humanoid shape, and stated that it matched descriptions of the mysterious shadow people, which is a type of paranormal entity that's said to be one of the most commonly cited apparitions. What these entities are though is up for debate. The shadow people are described as black masses. They can often be seen around objects that are said to be haunted, or in places where something bad has happened. One of the first things people say they feel when they see them is fear, and that is as if they drain all the energy out of the room and leave only darkness. Some have reported them as having glowing red eyes, while others say they have jet black eyes. It's not known what they want, but those who've seen them have said they think they're bad. The history of the area could be key in understanding what this apparition is, and why so many have felt uncomfortable visiting the catacombs. As the city grew, so did its natural death toll. It became obvious to officials and residents of the area that the cemeteries were becoming massively overcrowded which proved to be a huge issue for both religious groups and public health. Those who found themselves having to handle the deceased were unable to perform proper burial rites, which angered the local religions, as well as the spreading of disease as bodies would be exposed to the elements, and sometimes even unable to be buried entirely. These problems led to the creation of the catacombs, which saw massive tunnels and rooms carved out from underneath the city to house the bones of the deceased, and to make room as a vast and unending cemetery. What's incredibly unsettling about this is the fact that the bones were often placed as a display, and in rows against the walls of the tunnel that seemed to go on nearly forever. It's estimated that the bones of roughly 6 million people are stored down in the catacombs, which is a number that continues to grow as new rooms, tunnels and areas are discovered in the underground cemetery. The catacombs of Paris have also been used as a cemetery even in the modern era for criminals and killers, wishing to toss a needle in a haystack and even hide evidence of their actions, that would make it impossible for police to find and recover. The sheer size of the catacombs are another matter entirely. What many people do not understand, even including those who have helped map out the tunnels in the past, is the vastness of the tunnel systems, carved out rooms and layers of floors that continue in all directions. So far, estimates place the tunnels themselves to stretch over 200 miles. This is still dwarfed in comparison relative to rooms and larger areas, that can be as large as a five-story building underground. This has led many people who enter the tunnels without proper equipment or experience to become lost in the vastness of the catacombs, and has even extended to the most experienced travellers who have turned around in fear of becoming lost in the complex. This comes down to the disorientating sizes and distances the tunnels and rooms provide. If you plan on visiting these catacombs, be sure to bring a reliable guide or to bring proper equipment to prevent any disastrous opportunities from arising. Although many have gone into detail about their encounters with supposed paranormal entities, many of these encounters have not been captured on camera, meaning that although some of these stories sound convincing, 
and could be proof that the paranormal is very much real and needs to be studied further. They end up remaining a mystery as more information can't be gathered from the encounter. Here though, we can clearly see that the man has captured something at the entrance of one of the tunnels. Those who saw the photograph said that when they visited the catacombs they too felt on edge, and said that they felt as if something was watching them, saying that the whole experience was eerie. Most who saw this said that it closely resembles a shadow person, and said that it's one of the clearest images that we have of one of these entities. Although skeptics are not won over by these types of photographs, saying that this could just be a camera anomaly, there's others who are trying to be more open-minded, and have said that each new photograph helps to get one step closer in understanding what these things are. So what do you make of this strange photograph, and do you think it falls in the category of the paranormal? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.